What's going on, y'all? You know who it is. Mr. Warmack, a.k.a. Low Rent, a.k.a. The Ignorant American, a.k.a. The Truth As You Know It, a.k.a. Dirty Business, a.k.a. The Jet Jaguar of YouTube. What's up, folks? I'm back in the building in all my glory. Look at me. I got the, I got the 5 o'clock shadow working, you know, so we're going to give you what you want. I'm going to give you 24 hours of Mr. Warmack in the building, so... I'm behind on my videos. I'm behind on a lot of stuff because I've been blessed lately. I've been doing a lot of Twitter chats. I've been doing a lot of Google chats. I've been doing a lot of stuff as far as talking about how I got my social rank up. So, uh, like I tell people, if you got to schedule me ahead of time, the one the one Twitter chat I just happened to be up at the time and I had nothing to do as far as I didn't have to go to work that day. I didn't have this and it just happened to be there, so I took advantage of that. Cause a lot of stuff I just falls in my lap so if you want to get together please please this is important you got to plan ahead with me because my, like I said my, my work structure as far as my, my nine to five that's established I know what days I'll be working on my work then I have I'm back to working out again as you can see as you can see by the shoulders and everything they're all a little built up because I'm back to working out I'm back to taking that serious so I got my workout program, and I, I might do a workout channel, I don't know yet. I'm trying to see, get my brother, a couple other people. I got another channel that we're talking about. This is a lot of things I got on the, on, the, on, the, on the stove right now. And I'm sorry I haven't been uploading videos like I should, but like I said, I've been a busy brother. Idle hands are the devil's handiwork, you know what I mean? So let's go ahead. Today I want to talk about something that, uh, about our American President Obama. Apparently Obama, you know, he uh, he riled some feathers and he riled he riled the Christian right, the Christian left or the Christian base. Uh, he said he compared like the Crusades and other things. He's saying how people are like basically people are whitewashing all Muslims is the same as like say ISIS, which isn't true. We know this, but uh, people in America. Because most of them were ignorant, never been anywhere, and don't know anything outside of what they see on TV, they want to assume that all Muslims are like ISIS. They assume that all Muslims are beheading people, burying people alive, you know, gasoline in people. But President Obama made the point against the Crusades and that Christianity. There, some of the some of the points and times in their this in the Christianity history. You know, it's not nothing to brag about. And now people are getting ruffled and get their feathers up, you know, get ruffled with feathers. They're up in an uproar. They're, you know, they're saying, how dare he say that? But when you look at what he said, what did he say? What did he lie about? You just don't like what he said. Because what it is is a lot of you ignorant bastards think he's Muslim, but he's not. Jeremiah Wright was his pastor. Although he might have been a right wing, he still was Christian, which falls in your lap again. Well, when I, like I said, I can bring up, I can bring up like the Crusades. I can bring up, I can bring up Nazis. I can bring up the Spanish Inquisition. I can bring up slavery in America. I can bring, I can bring up how you're treating the treating the little boys and the Catholics. There's a lot of stuff I can bring about. Like I said, I don't whitewash everybody because I know there's extremism in everything. I like, like I said. Like I said and so look, look how the Catholics treat little boys. No, 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 I'm not saying all Catholics, but look at what it is. The Catholic Church is now finally, Pope, what, what, Pope Benedict is trying, now he's trying to talk about out people. I mean, this wacko is finally realizing you got out people. But uh, back to the lecture I have. The people in America are mad at Obama because he, um, he, he talked about Christianity. And now you have all these re religious leaders who, if they were honest with you, if they were honest with themselves, would say, well, we have nothing wrong, there's nothing wrong with what the president said, that he, what he said is not a lie. What the, what the president said was the truth. What it is, is it's a, it, in America it's called an inconvenient truth, because you don't want to remember that. You don't remember the crusade. You don't remember the Spanish Inquisition. You don't remember Nazi Germany. You don't remember slavery. You don't remember how the Bible has been used 
the beat down of the races, how the Bible has been beat down of other ethnic groups, how the Bible has been used to beat down less fortunate, how the Bible has been beat down for murder. You don't want to admit that. You want to know why? Because then you would have to cop to something that's, that's a natural to feel. You don't want to say, hey, look, man, all right, he's right. But what it is is you get together. It's, it's in America, there's another system where it's just because the, the majority of people think it's right, they think it's right, which is not true. If, 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 I'm, if I'm right handed and the majority of people say I'm left handed, that doesn't make what they say true. I know I'm right handed, they say I'm left handed, it is what it is. And that's what you got to look at it as. But what Obama said, like I said, I've been, I've been, I've, I've, I've been a critic of Obama at times. But like I said, what Obama said about religion is true. I can't find no beef with that. He kept in 100. Now, now, if you want to go about policies, this, that, and the third, we can debate that. But what he said about that, you cannot fight about it. And I know some of you are going to give examples about, well, we don't, we don't the, the decapitate. You burn witches in Salem. You burn them alive. He said, well, that were we'll perceived as witches. You burn them alive. The Bible was used for slaves, right? And you hung them. So I don't see why you people are getting all up, up, up in an uproar where it's, it'd be like, I don't even know, like, water off a duck back to me, because it's true. So, you want to get mad at something, at least get, get mad at something that's a lie. No, you just you're just feeding into the you're just feeding into the point about how the ignorance about how you don't like black folks and you don't like Muslims. That's all you're feeding into. So I'm out. Peace. Great guy. He's always on himself.